<laughs> She's not a good idea. Good morning. If this looks like a different room than normal, it is. We stayed in this lovely hotel for Valentine's Day yesterday. We didn't really vlog, we just spent the time together. But when we got here, I did film a room tour because I'd love you to see this place. Let's have a look at the room and then we're gonna go for breakfast and then we'll have the rest of the day. Let me show you. on the way to breakfast now we're gonna have it in our room on the pool which in hindsight we probably should have still done but we woke up this morning and it was like super cold and like overcast it wasn't sunny I didn't feel like getting in the pool for it <laughs> and having like the breakfast in the pool in our room but I should have done that now but now we're gonna go have breakfast out here so we both got the eggs benedict Here you go. Oh, thank you. To bring it on a saucer because the handle was too big for me. Too small for my fingers. Oh, thank you so much. What a nice little... It's actually, you know what? It's actually really warm and we didn't get in it this morning because we thought it would be cold and it's not cold at all. Have you felt the water? I don't want it now because we've got to go soon. I know. I kind of want to dip in. Jump in quick. <laughs> we have to check out in like 20 minutes so it's not really enough time to get in and out. And I'm going to drink this and I'll see you shortly. Bye. We're checking out. <laughs> There's a lot of traffic on this road. <laughs> and it's the third. All right, let's try it. It's an espresso with Milo. <laughs> it's low-key really good. Now I remember why I like Milo. <laughs> So we've checked out of the hotel, which is really sad because I really, I really liked staying there. It was beautiful and lovely as you just saw. I showed you a little bit of the hotel. And now we're just grabbing a coffee and then we're gonna go home to our apartment. Oh yes, thank you. Top and car, I have an espresso. Okay, so we are back in the room right now. Um, we just had a little rest after getting back from the hotel, but we're about to head up to Doi Sutep. So stick along for this adventure. If you don't know what Doi Sutep is, it's a big, beautiful mountain, basically. <laughs> so let's go up it. Let's climb all the stairs. I'm a little bit nervous, but also excited because I haven't been there before. But the, there's a lot of stairs. So I've got my Apple Watch on. I'm going to count my steps and I'm going to count how many inclines I do. Let's have a guess. What I want you to do is let me know how many stairs. Guess how many stairs. I'm gonna climb up on my Apple Watch at the end of Dosu's Tep. Leave a comment down below. Ready? Pause this video. Go guess now. Okay, we should be good. We should have we all done our guesses? Have we all done our guesses? Perfect. Let's go up the mountain. Okay, we stopped for a second because we were biking up this mountain, and anywhere you go in Thailand, there's pretty much a temple. It's really cool. Like you'd be driving through the main city of like a main city, and then there's just a temple in the middle of a, a coffee shop and a dry cleaner. Like it's it's really cool here. That's pretty crazy just to come across that. This was the one where the pagoda over the Buddha was built after the Buddha was built. Palm 
up and his other hand down in front of him. Mm -hmm. That specific pose because all the different footers like mean different things. When we come back to Chiang Mai in the future, we'll rent a bike and do a full doisy tap, like go to all the different coffee shops and waterfalls and stuff, but you need a whole day. It kind of snuck up on us, like we're going to do that this trip, and then we did so many other things <laughs> that it was just kind of like, oh, we have to leave soon. Yeah, most so, people who come up here would just see the temple, the Doji Tap main temple, which is cool. Obviously, do that, but there are so many other things on the way that you need a whole day to do. Four or five different waterfalls, a bunch of different temples, lookout points, and then further up, hill tribe villages with coffee and stuff as well. <laughs> Over here is coffee. I cannot climb all those stairs without coffee. <laughs> We've acquired a puppy. <laughs> Bye. Swadika. Have a espresso yen? Espresso yen. Yeah. No sugar. No sugar. Yes. Fresh milk. Yes. Chai ka. So we are going up there. I think, is that where it is? Yeah. Yeah. And you climb lots of stairs and it looks really pretty, right? Yeah. I haven't been here before. I'm super excited. But first I need a coffee because I've only had one today. <laughs> okay, I'm already tired. We haven't even started. <laughs> Hello. Oh, my Hello. I hope that wasn't rude. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I have to climb that? I'm actually legitimately struggling. <laughs> so we're still in Duraceps. Let's see how many we climb. <laughs> We have a dog guarding the steps here. I'm finding it really hard to carry my phone and this and that, so sorry about the camera angles at the moment. Good job. I want to save all the street puppies. It's so pretty, it's just so hard to walk up. I'm not gonna lie, I put off coming up here for a while because Michael was telling me how many stairs there were. Whew. We're doing okay, we're doing okay. It's honestly, no, I thought it'd be a lot worse than this. How far am I? Halfway, yeah. I can do it. Let's keep going. That could have been a whole lot worse. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have had a coffee first because the milk, with the walking, with the steepness, it's not a good idea. I think we're supposed to pay a 30 baht admission fee, but there's no one there at all. It's all like closed off and blocked and stuff. So this is what I get for not exercising for a year. So this is known as Wat Pra Sat Dosu Tat Wat Pra Sat Wat Pra Tat Wat Pra Tat Dosu Tep and Pra means Buddhist image, Tat means Buddhist relic. There you go. And the reason it's sort of like famous and people hack all the way up there to see it is that they believe that Buddha's shoulder bone is in the temple. Yeah. So Michael just told me that by the way. <laughs> so that's what they believes in there. That big mountain that we drove up, they only apparently built that, what, a hundred years ago? So there's no access to this temple for a hundred years, <laughs> for 600 years, other than hiking. And it took us about 35 minutes to ride up here on a motorbike. So that will take a long time when you walk. So it's smoky season, or coming into smoky season here in Chiang Mai. And we're at the lookout, but it's definitely smoky. <laughs> So the Buddha's um, statues and stuff are doing a symbol like this or this. Can you tell me in the comments what that means if you know? That would be really cool. Um, but yeah, they all are doing something different with their hands. So again, if you know what that means, leave that in the comments because I would love to know. Let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing really well. We're leaving now um, just because the rain started coming in really quick and now there's great, like, 
gray clouds and it looks like it's going to rain so we want to get off the mountain on the bike before it starts yeah if we go, go down the mountain when it's raining it might be really really bad so we're going to head out we just left for <laughs> quick and smart now we're about to go and head on the bike so okay so we are home right now and i'm a little bit disappointed in my um step score on my apple watch i honestly thought it was more of a climb than that which i'm actually very glad that it wasn't because that was actually still really hard who guessed 13. we're gonna get a grab for dinner just so we can eat because it's dinner time i'm gonna edit some videos so make sure you hit that subscribe button for me it'll really help me out with the youtube algorithm and help me continue making videos for you but make sure you subscribe stick around and we'll see you in the next one Good night!